Hello everyone and welcome back to Thief. Now last time we found out that the guards can actually be smart when they want to. And that caused us quite a bit of trouble. So hopefully we don't have quite as much of a hard time this time around. Because we do have to do a few things over. Slaughter yards. I told her our lives would be different. Hey! You answer for this. Where are you, scum? Oh, be quiet. I had issues with you last sure time. I don't know. Where could I be? Oh, uh, nothing. You must have slipped away. Yep, yep, I did. Oh, there's a whole nother room in there? Oh, thanks, Fizzle. <laughs> I know I'm funny. Hairy friggin' bells. I don't like this. Boom! He caused us a lot less trouble than he did last time. <clears throat> There's people in there. I'm avoiding them. All right, so that was significantly easier. All right, so we want to go this way. And down this hall. All right, this is where we were last time. Give me a locked door, I'll show you an open one. I haven't seen this mechanism before, though. Must be a key to fit. <sighs> Alright, so he's dead. Um, now what? Um, for one, I'm going to say... Um, save. Um, I'm gonna hit resume. So hope, so we won't have to do that other part again. Alright, and for one, let's be a little more cautious in this area. We were- we kind of just ran right in last time. And that was, um, not good. Seriously, we went through all that for nothing? There's nothing down here? Extensive cuts to wrists, I'll assume self-inflicted. 
It would help if I knew how many people were above us. But recording the cause of death can help us to assess the spread of the sickness. Oh wait, I did something. I don't know what I did, but don't try to be clever, watchman. It doesn't suit your face. Or your job. Get back to your duties before I relieve you of them. Hide. One of the Baron's high callers. He might have something useful. Bugger. Weather's turning. Let's go back up there. Because that seemed like a good place. I, I just want to try it again. All the guys on the conveyor belt I always think are real people. <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose they're real people. They're just dead. Alright, those two were the guys giving us trouble, I think. Those masked quacks wouldn't take this job. Worn out. Don't see me, crossbow guy. Don't you dare fall. Oh, are you kidding me? I was so close, too. It's alright, I suppose I don't really need my revenge. For them not doing anything. Well, I don't know, I kind of just went, to, went into shutdown mode right there, and I didn't really know what to do. So, okay, I've got an idea. We've got to kill the bigwig guy. Bigwig guy equals bad. So we have to wait for the crossbow guy to be in a different area from Mr. Bigwig. So how are you do guys doing over there? I could w really use one of those distracting things about right about now. Throw it down here, have the crossbow guy go investigate. It's tiresome, but recording the cause of death can help us to assess the spread of the sickness. Don't try to be clever, Watchman. It doesn't suit your face. Or your job. Get back to your duties. Before I relieve you of them. Yeah, get back to your duties. Tossed from a second floor window, I would guess. Or jump, of course. Why does he always come this way? happened to this place right at the moment that the other guy does as well suppose maybe we just have to wait for the right moment oh they're back to being stupid again can't see that I'm right in front of their freaking faces not claimed by the gloom I suspect I hear riverside's riddled with the gloom one of the baron's high callers he might have something useful
Go, go, go. El stupido. Oh my gosh, they didn't see us. They didn't see us. How? They're just alert. They didn't e like they're alert because they heard me. I hope he didn't leave. Oh, okay. They are actually kind of close to seeing me now. All right. Well, this guy's oblivious to the world. Just stay quiet. He's not even concerned that Mr. Bigwig's dead. Hungry, yes, and actually, I'm going to wait for him to come Mr. back Big over Big here Big again, because I'm going to kill him. I'm getting my revenge. I don't like this guy. Please don't make me regret this. Night's going on forever. Huh? Boom. You're dead, scum. I know where you are. Hey. Better hide quick. I know where you are now. All right, so we just got to hide here, I suppose. Because they actually know where we are. Alright, so we did leave one guy, um, unmurdered. It's away. the sword guy. Alright, he's actually calming down. Let's see where he goes. Oh, he would be so easy to kill. But I'm playing it safe and I'm not doing that. Picking up the coin purse. Run and jump. <coughs> That was weird, but there we go. <laughs> All right, they're going that way now. Can I grab on can I grab onto a hooky thing? I can. I just have to get super super close, which was the problem last time that we had is that we almost had to get ridiculously close. Quick before we miss our opportunity. All right. Yes. Oh great, it's up to us as to when to drop now. Back on the assembly line. Took down Mr. Bigwig. Little idiot. For a dead man, Cornelius is proving hard to catch. 
But I'll have to if I'm to pawn that ring. Oh, hey, one at a time. <laughs> no pushing. <laughs> Flames ain't going anywhere without you. Yeah, seriously, though, this is, this is taking a while. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Save, save. Yes, we must save. No matter if you're rich or ragged, beggared or buttered up, you're all gonna burn. Oh, hey, buddy. I need a drink. Hey, other guy. Out of the frying pan, into the fire, eh? Um, it's creepy. Oh, I think this is the guy. I have a feeling. I don't care if your mother's got the fucking clone, she's not coming to live with us. <laughs> oh, it's another Mr. Big Wig. Please take a general surf. Wow, look at that stash. And the bald spot. Wow. There you are. Hey, excuse me, sir. What did this body have? And the have mole on, on his nose. Uh, nothing. This guy's gorgeous. Nothing. No, I was just going to get another body when you came in and took over. <laughs> you know, I don't ask for much. Respect. <sighs> A stiff drink. Gold. This guy's creepy on so many and levels. And for my men to do what they're fucking told. What was that? Was that? Oh, it's, it's an arm. Put problem. his body in the furnace. Check it for coin. No point in wasting a bolt. Robbing the dead of their valuables and their dignity. A thief taker general exceeds his own reputation. Time to steal that ring back. Oh, lucky us, we get to steal the ring back. That was three days. Hey, up. Ten plus to the general people. Not up in murder. Double or nothing. Hope it's not me. Whoa, look at that smooth, those smooth skills. Who's next? Okay, this is not going to be easy, actually. Oh, I see. We have to take our chances when the door's closed. It's all about timing. Or not. Maybe these guys are just too stupid to do anything. U.S. stupid dolls. Ooh, flashback. The ring. Too much to hope that he cleaned it, I suppose. Oh no, we're looking in through a window. Those masked 
Quags will take his job. Oh, okay. Gosh darn it, we have to find another way into the freaking office. Why can't anything ever be easy? Oh wait, there's a thing right here. I don't know, we can always just hope that it's easier than we think. Alright. Do we get to kill the kill Bigwig number two? That's a strong box. Another of the Baron's improvements, perhaps. It'll crack like any other. Oh, this is Uh oh. What is this? I don't like this one bit. So what, we have to get it so that all the lines match up properly? No, that was right, I think. There's got to be something that isn't right. This. There we go. I'm a puzzle Nobles genius. Never miss an opportunity to admire their own crest. This must oh be a flashback. Yes. Yay, I don't actually have to do anything. If you have to leave. I have the ring and a new best friend But it's not over until I get out of here. Oh great now. We have to get out. Well, let's save Yes resume all right everybody I hope you all enjoyed this episode leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all next time